So you are looking to know if your teacher browser is signed in and synced. The typical things to look for here, if you don't see your own bookmarks or you don't see the extensions that the district pays for, or something is malfunctioning on your browser, it's typically because you might not be signed in and synced. So how do you know that? In the upper right hand corner above the product, like you'll see this line here above the product, you'll see the browser icon. And there you should see sync is on. If you don't have sync on, you will not get your profile to show up. You will not have your signed in bookmarks, your passwords, your extensions, etc. So how do you do that? When you sign in and sync, you're basically heading on over to your Google account. And you're going to press turn on sync. But what's that look like? What it looks like is this. Typically, if you're not signed in and synced, you might see your icon, but you'll not see uh, this if it says turn on sync, you want to turn on sync. You're syncing your personalized preferences to your browser. Think of it as getting into your car to cruise the internet. Once you start going through the process, you'll sign in with your password and then it'll say, are you in? You are. So you're going to want to turn on that sync. And basically at that point, it will look like what mine looks like where it says sync is on and my bookmarks show up and my extensions show up and my passwords show up, etc. The other thing that's important is if you want to bring in another profile, like for example, I have my personal Matt Swarczyk profile, you would add another car to your garage right here. When you press add, it would give you this setup to sign into another profile. And that way you can keep your profiles completely separate. And if you want to go to your professional profile, you can drive the internet like that. And if you want to go to your private profile, you can drive your, the internet by clicking it over here and it will pull a completely different car out of the garage and allow me to drive the internet as my private. Now you'll notice it says paused because I'm not signed in and synced and that's where we would go in and sign in and sync. Once you're signed in and synced, it's going to stay that way and you're going to be able to cruise the internet. And that is how you sign in and sync a teacher browser.